Hi, this is Dr. Ariel Policano here to talk to you about the Genius Insight biofeedback system and the ability to create customized categories. The ability to create your own categories in the way that you think about getting better, healing, affirmations, spiritual issues, your own remedies that you have at home or use in your practice remains one of the most dynamic and powerful parts of the Genius Insight system. For me, I've created many different custom libraries over time to help people heal in many different areas. You can acquire the ones that I've created, which give you a great running start because of the information contained within them. And you can also create your own custom libraries. These are libraries that allow you to test in different areas or allow you to tap into a client's negative belief system or allow them to tap into the affirmation that's most resonating for them. So you just need to decide what it is that you want to uh, work with. Is it a remedy? Is it an affirmation? Um, whatever list it is, whatever variety of things that you want to test for, find out what that person is most drawn to, you can use the custom library function. Now, many people want to know exactly what are the nuts and bolts to doing this. How can they start to do it themselves? So on this screen, which you access through your navigation bar at the top right of your screen, this is your navigation bar. You scroll down to libraries, and then you have this screen. This screen will tell you the libraries that you've created. These are the libraries that I've created, and many people have them from me in their shared section. So over, over here, I only have, um, I don't have any libraries, actually people that people have shared with me. So we don't see anything in the shared section. For you, it might be the opposite. Down here, there is a section for importing libraries, exporting libraries, adding your libraries to a client profile, and creating something we'll talk about in a different video called a master branch. Now, for your custom library, think of the category that you want to create. So let's just create a category called remedy, okay? And we'll just put some different items on there. In order to do that, you start here at the plus sign. The plus sign will bring you to the category picture, category name, and category description. Now, name your category. We're just going to name this remedy. You could name it affirmations. You could name it um, essential oils. You could name it, you know, the line of vitamins that you use, whatever it is. You could take a picture of the um, remedy if, or the line of remedies, but no picture is required. And as long as you know what the category is about, there's no need to put a category description. At this point, we can hit save. So, all right, I've already done, let's just do one called remedies and save it. And now you want to, it'll probably be the only one that you have, but you want to go down and find that one. Click on the little herb at the side, little herb icon, which is the default icon. And now we'll find it and we tap on the left icon right here. It brings you to this screen. It tells you the category name. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tap on zero items. So we tap on zero items and then just hit cancel. Don't worry about this message here. So for hololinguistic remedies, which is where you just type in the name of the remedy or type in the affirmation, then we're going to go to import. We tap on import. Let's put the name of the remedy in. So it could be vitamin C or it could be um, I'm healing every day and getting better and better, whatever it might be. We type it in, then we tap import now, import now. And it brings in the algorithms that we have programmed into the genius for 
um, meaning, vibrational meaning for the letter, vibrational meaning for the word, vibrational meaning for the entire phrase taken together. And then after we have that line is completed going up and down, you come back to here, we just tap add item. So let's look at it again. Let's go ahead and let's do an affirmation. I am healthy in every way. Okay, and then we tap here, import now. And we're going to have it look at the energy of that phrase, which um, we have the algorithms for the letters, the words, the phrases. The, you know, it's, it's a mysterious process how this happens. But because of our um, algorithms for the Schumann resonance, um, in consciousness, these words and phrases are known. And you can experiment try um, putting lots of affirmations in and you'll find that these affirmations that come up are really the ones that are right for you or right for your client. So it's an absolutely amazing process. I was um, very skeptical of it at first and then I did lots of different testing with things that I digitally imprinted with a remedy plate or an imprinter plate and knowing what my clients were going through and really these whole linguistics are um, incredibly effective and remarkably um, powerful and spot on for the people that you're testing. And it's fun to have that experience over and over again. And it's fun to really fine tune the creation of these to what you want them to be. All right. So now I'm going to add that item. So when you're done with this, you just keep creating, keep creating, keep creating same way until you're complete. When you're done, you hit the upper left arrow over here, go back, and then down here, if you've already added your other items to your client live to your client profile, then you can also add your new one by tapping add to client. Alternatively, if you added several of them, you could then go down here, go add to client, and when you hit select all, it just adds the new one. So there's no problem in hitting select all. It's not gonna give you two of every remedy. It'll only use that, that it'll only add the new one. So it's very, very convenient. Then you just go back to your libraries and you scan all of your libraries. Uh, first, we have to do a begin analysis, then we get our results here, then we go into our libraries, and then we can just search for it. So it's going to take a second here for the, um, for the results to be done. And then we just type in the one that we want, which is going to be remedies, and then it comes up. So perfect. So we're just going to go to the remedies and then there it is and we can test for it. So that is how you create and use a custom testing library. For more information, please go to awakentotalhealth.com, hit the contact us button or go to awakentotalhealth.com and download the trial for the Genius Biofeedback System. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hit subscribe or like or both and have a great day. Thanks so much.